Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's webinar on uh, capturing free, easy 3D home tours. My name is Daniel Mudge, and I'm an account coordinator here on Zillow's Rich Media Experience team. We specifically spend our time thinking through products that uh, can make listings more engaging and more interactive. And, you know, with the current state of, of the world and the, uh, the country right now, this work is more important than ever. And so I'm incredibly excited to be able to share with you uh, the Zillow 3D Home app that we've been developing so that today, as soon as you're done with this webinar, you can start to use it. As many of you know, we really do live in a virtual reality right now. I'm sure a lot of you have been plugging in and uh, logging into virtual meetings for work and certainly having virtual meetings with friends and family to stay connected. Um, here at Zillow Group, we know that these are unprecedented times and our top priority really is the safety of our customers, our partners and our users. And so uh, I'm excited for you to be able to digest this information today, but a quick note, certainly still uh, abide by any of the local laws and the CDC recommendations for taking these tours. Um, but I'm excited that these virtual tours can be just a, a nice asset and part of the solution as we navigate this together. To give you a little idea, 3D engagement is on the rise. And now's a great time to be watching this webinar. In March specifically, um, we saw that homes and listings on Zillow with a 3D home tour receive 60% more saves and 50% more views. And that's huge. And I'm really excited for your listings to see this type of engagement as well by adding a 3D home tour. Specifically, we saw that just in the last week of March, and this webinar today is being recorded just the first week of April, the last week of March, we actually saw five times more 3D home tours uploaded in that week compared to the average that we've seen in all weeks before. So certainly 3D home tours are allowing buyers to continue that home search and gain a comprehensive understanding of a tour without having to set foot in person during this current environment. So I'm gonna quickly dive in. My goal today is to go over what Zillow 3D Home is, go over step-by-step -step how to capture a Zillow 3D Home tour, and then most importantly, answer the question about what do you do once you have the 3D Home tour? So how do you share that tour with the stakeholders and with home shoppers? So quickly, what is Zillow 3D Home and how did we get here? It really all is about simplifying the 3D tour experience. In the past, to take a 3D tour required expensive equipment and it required a lot of time. And that meant that really only luxury listings or sellers with a large enough budget could actually have a 3D tour taken. So the goal of Zillow 3D Home is to actually provide an affordable and fast option that allows any listing to have a 3D tour. And so again, Zillow 3D Home is an option that's fast, easy, and free. I'll say that again. It is fast, it's easy, and it is free. All you need to do is download the app onto an iPhone, log in with your Zillow account, or you can create a free Zillow account right there in the app, and you can immediately start capturing 3D tours. To give you a little idea of what we're building towards, here's a, uh, an example of what the tours look like. What I love is that these tours allow a buyer to go through the home at their own pace. As you can see, there are navigational arrows that allow user to move from panorama to panorama. And as you can see, you can also capture panoramas of the outside to give a buyer an understanding of the front yard, the backyard. Let's dive right in to capturing your first Zillow 3D home tour. The first thing you're gonna need to do is download the app from the app store. You will just search for Zillow 3D Home and then look for this orange logo that's appearing on screen. That's the app you're gonna download. Once it's onto your iPhone, you'll just log in again with your Zillow uh, account or create one right there. Today, the Zillow 3D Home app is available for iPhone 7s and newer and iPads that have an operating system 
of iOS 11.3 or newer. So let's dive right in. Once you open up that app, you'll see a button right in the middle of the screen that's blue that says Create 3D Home. When you click that, you'll go ahead and choose that you're going to use the iPhone camera. You're going to enter in the listing address of the property, but if you have any trouble, you can just select Add Home Address Later. And then once the whole tour is done, you can add that address afterwards. Once you've uh, gone through the address or are gonna add it later, you can pick the location where you're going to start. I would say that most people start their tours in the front yard or at the front door and then work their way through the house, just as you would when you were showing um, potential buyer. You'll want to stand in the middle of the space to capture the panorama and you'll hold the iPhone straight up and down in front of you. And I have my iPhone here that you can see. I'm just gonna hold it in front of you nice and comfortably. And you're gonna slowly turn to the right and just pan the iPhone in front of you in a full circle all the way, a full 360 degrees. And we've got a screen recording here to help you see what this looks like. And there's that blue button to start the capture and you can select the iPhone. You can enter in the address and then hit single family home. That'll punch you right into selecting the room. So we're gonna select living room. And then again, I call this the Pac-Man effect, right? Where you're essentially eating up all these bars. You're keeping that viewfinder right in the center and then you're just moving to the right with the phone in front of you, just eating up those bars and this is going to guide you again in a full circle. So don't stop halfway. Don't stop after only 180 degrees. You're just going to turn yourself in that full circle all the way till you reach the end of the bars, as you can see here on the screen. So after you've captured that first panorama, you're just simply going to move to the next room. It doesn't matter the order of rooms that you shoot. Once you're in the next room, you're just going to select the Add button on the screen, and you'll see this in another uh, screen recording just next, and you're just going to repeat that same process. So here's another screen recording. Once you hit Add, we're going to take a panorama of the kitchen here, and again, it's that Pac-Man feature where you're just going to eat those bars as you're spinning the iPhone in front of you. So a quick uh, or a few quick tips here for setting the scene. We recommend turning on all of the lights overhead and then opening all of the curtains really to bring as much light as possible here into the room. Also turn off any fans or televisions, anything that might be moving because it'll cause uh, a blur effect in the panoramas. And then open up all the interior doors as well to make it easy for you and then viewers afterwards to navigate through the home. Few tips on different size rooms. My rule of thumb is one panorama per room in the house. Now you'll see here on the screen, larger rooms like the kitchen, you are certainly welcome to take more than one panorama to make sure you show the whole room. For smaller rooms, I would suggest um, if it's a small bathroom, take the panorama, but if it turns out a little too claustrophobic, no, there is an option to remove or hide a panorama afterwards. To give you a good idea of this concept, on the screen is a map that shows you the different capture points in an imaginary house here. Um, a few things that call out. Uh, first, don't forget to capture panoramas in connecting hallways as well as um, at the top and the bottom of stairs. All right, that helps someone guide down to a basement, maybe guide upstairs to a second level. Also, don't forget to take a panorama of the front uh, and back exterior. Those are really some of the most popular panoramas for a viewer to look at. And then on average, when using an iPhone, it takes about 30 minutes to capture a 2000 square foot home. So keep that in mind. All right, and what do you do when you're done capturing? Um, go ahead and take a look to make sure you didn't miss any rooms. Um, I do want to call out here that 
after you click all panoramas complete, there is not an option to go back and add a room. So on this screen, just make sure you have all of the rooms that you want to include in the tour. You can click on a room to preview it to make sure it turned out the way that you want. You can always redo a shot, right, in case maybe a cat runs into the, the screen. You can redo uh, any of these panoramas. And when uh, you have it ready, go ahead and click All Panoramas Complete. This will give you two options. You can immediately publish the tour onto your listing, or if you do want to review and edit any of the connecting arrows, you can tap Finish without publishing. What happens next is once you are within Wi-Fi or cellular data, the tour will actually upload to our server, and then we'll send you an email confirmation when the tour is ready to publish as well as ready to share. Speaking of managing and sharing, uh, like I said, there's a big question about what do I do after I finish a tour? And the best place to share your tours from is going to be the 3D Home dashboard. And on this uh, screen here, is the URL address. The 3D dashboard can be accessed from a laptop or a, a personal computer. Zillow.com forward slash my dash 3D dash homes is where you want to navigate to. And once you get to that page, you'll just log in with the same email address that you logged into the Zillow app with. Once you're there on the dashboard, you'll be able to edit the tour. And I'll show you, show you some screen recordings here as well to see what that looks like. But by editing the tour, uh, I mean you can rename rooms, you can adjust or add arrows, you can set the default view or the starting view in each room, and you can delete any unnecessary panoramas, right? Like maybe a bathroom that's a little claustrophobic. And then most importantly here is the share settings. And so I want to make sure I say Zillow 3D Home Tours are not just for Zillow. They are designed that you can email them, you can text them, you can use an unbranded URL link to share onto the MLS, but then syndicate to all of the other real estate websites as well. So when you click on share inside of the 3D dashboard, you'll see quick buttons to share on social media, you'll see a quick button to share on email, and then you'll see the uh, unbranded MLS link that link can also be texted or sent an email as well. So here's a screen recording so you can see what the dashboard looks like. You'll see the URL up at the top. Here you'll see options to search through your 3D tours, search for ones that have been published or unpublished. When you click on the three little dots, that'll give you access here to editing the address. So if you did skip the address at the beginning, here is where you can go back in afterwards and add it. You'll also see when you click on those three little dots, here's the option to edit a tour. And this is where you can go in and you can see on the screen editing the arrows. And I want to let you know the app will try its best to add arrows for you. But I do suggest, since the app isn't perfect, to plan to spend about five to ten minutes here in the dashboard just making sure all the arrows are there. And if some of the arrows aren't quite lined up, you can move them here. You can also set the default view for each room. And then here you'll also see this is where the share menu can pop up. And again, that is where you can grab the unbranded link that can be used on the MLS. So once you click Publish, Publish will immediately put the tour onto the Zillow listing. As you can see here on the screen, it'll actually appear as that fourth photo. And then after you publish, your listing will start to show a, a little 3D badge in the search results. And that lets viewers know as they're scrolling through homes on Zillow that your listing has a 3D home tour. A few common questions that I want to go over here. Is there sound in 3D home tours? 3D home tours are silent and home shoppers can view them at their own pace. Is this available on Android? The 3D home app is only available for iPhone and iPad when paired to a 360 camera. 
Can I capture a 3D tour with the Zillow Premier Agent app? 3D tours need to be captured inside of the Zillow 3D Home app. And can I use another 360 camera? Today, the Ricoh Theta V and Z1 are compatible with our app. And speaking of those cameras, here they are on the screen. I would recommend if you are planning to take a lot of these uh, 3D tours, or if you want to invest in gear that will give you a higher quality tour, then you might want to consider purchasing one of these cameras. They are completely optional though. You do not need a Ricoh camera to use the Zillow 3D Home app. Um, but one thing to keep in mind, using one of these cameras will actually reduce the capture time from the average of 30 minutes when using an iPhone at a 2,000 square foot home to about 15 minutes for a 2,000 square foot home. So I wanted to quickly start to wrap things up here, you guys. I appreciate your time. Zillow's mission is helping people unlock life's next chapter. That doesn't stop during these times of social distancing. And part of the reason why I'm so excited to be talking with you today is I think that the Zillow 3D Home app can empower you and empower your sellers um, to continue this, uh, giving people options to look through homes. Um, specifically today, you know, this webinar is for a very wide audience. It's for agents, it's for home sellers, for real estate uh, photographers, it's for property managers landlords, really anyone that would like to capture a virtual tour of a property and then be able to share that. If you want to learn more, I'd encourage you to visit the homepage for the Zillow 3D app. Uh, you can find that here just using the URL on the screen. Feel free to pause the webinar here and you can access that. Also, if you are an agent, I'd encourage you to check out our resource page um, for tips on how to work with your clients virtually. Again, you can pause the webinar here and then type in that URL to access that page. And finally, you can ask any questions to our team using this email address below. That's 3dhome at zillowgroup.com. Happy to clarify any follow-up questions that you have after today's webinar. And lastly, I just want to conclude you guys by saying at Zillow, we believe that supporting our uh, customers and our partners during this time um, is most important because we really are in this all together. So uh, certainly stay tuned for more exciting features and tools to help empower you uh, during this time of, of uncertainty, really. And we hope that um, using the Zillow 3D uh, home app just gives you another tool uh, again to navigate these times certainly we're here with you we're excited to continue this conversation and i just want to thank you thank you for spending the time with me here today take care you guys and stay safe out there bye-bye